It's not much of a street in size. It's just a block and a half long. It gets muddy in the spring and slick in the winter. And in the summertime, dust sifts in through the windows of the little houses where 36 Mexican-American families live. They used to call it Second Street there in Silvis, Illinois. Until they discovered that the little street had contributed more men to the last three wars than any area of its size in the country. And eight of those men never returned to their loved ones. So now in their honor, they've renamed it Hero Street, USA. Raised on a dusty, unpaid street, they worked in the red hot sun. A black and a half of Mexican boys, Americans, everyone. They believed our nation was worth the price. Men come from all parts of the country to defend our nation's honor. And the men from Hero Street are no braver than those from other towns and cities. It's just hard to believe this little forlorn-looking street in Silvis, Illinois, gave more than 80 men to our battles and won more than a bushel of our country's highest medals. Little did the hero at Gate know that when they played games of war on Billy Goat Bluff, the little hill that rises behind this famous street, they were training for a job they would do later in their young lives, but this time it would be for their country. I know many thousands of our boys risked the very same fate, and they fought for the same rights and ideals. But to the eight men who believe that freedom is always a goal and never an achievement, and who gave their lives above and beyond the call of duty, this story is a tribute to them and to those who have returned to Hero Street. Three Sand DeVoe boys, Tony Pumba, Claro Celeste, Peter Macias, Joseph Gomez, and Johnny Munoz from Hero Street, USA. <laughs>